I want you to follow me carefully. Let's read together. One to go. Fear not, for I am with thee. Who is with thee? Talk to me. Who says you shouldn't fear? He said, Fear not, for I am with thee. God can't be with you and you have coronavirus. Somebody say, Fear not. Say it louder. Shout it like a Christian here. He said, Fear not, for I am with thee. Be not dismayed, for I am thy God. Oh, yeah. I will strengthen thee. Yea, I will uphold thee. Yea, I will uphold thee with the right hand of my righteousness. Some say righteousness. The first key to destroying coronavirus is to be confident. Anything you fear, you attract. Job said, the things I greatly fear, they have come. That is what I'm sharing this morning is the master key to destroying coronavirus. One, don't be afraid. Don't fear their fear. He said a righteous, they are as bold as lion. Am I talking to somebody here? He said the things I greatly fear, they have come. Anything you fear, you attract. Hello? We have two forces in this world. We have the force of faith and the force of fear. Faith will bring God. Fear will bring Satan and his chaos. John 10, 10 said, Satan have come to steal, to kill, and to destroy. He has come by Corona. The vehicle that he came with is Corona. The virus is there. He said, but I have come. That you might have life and have it more abundantly. Somebody say, I have life. I have life. Say it louder. I have life. Shout it like a Christian here. I have life. That is, don't be afraid. That's one thing I want you to be aware of. And one of the signs to prove that you are not afraid, you speak boldly. Corona is dead before he came. See, listen to this. The instrument God gave to his children is the instrument of the world. You must put the word of God in your mouth. You speak it loud and speak it strong. Speak it loud and speak it what? Strong. Speak it loud and speak it what? Strong. strong. Listen to this. Your word can kill any disease. That is, you must not be afraid. Somebody say, I must not be afraid. I must not be afraid. Say it louder. The devil will be suggesting to you this thing I'm feeling now. Don't you think this is one of the signs? And some of you will go on the internet and begin to brass the signs. What concerns you will concern the sign? You know, sell, you know, buy. Galusha, Mama, Mampra, Kalino, Sopalatani, Galaza, Sine. Before Thursday, this coronavirus is gone forever. We will hear good news this week. I said, We will hear good news this week. That is number one, you must not be afraid. Say, I must not be afraid. I must not be afraid. Say louder. I must not be afraid. Shout it like a Christian. I must not be afraid. Two, Psalm 91. So we are reading three scriptures. Psalm 91 from verse 1 to 6. Psalm 91 from verse 1 to 6. Mangra Kalo Siga Mama Bela Mahe. Let's read together. One to go. He that dwelleth in the secret place of the most high shall abide under the shadow of the almighty verse 2 i will say of the lord he is my refuge my fortress my god in him will i trust now listen to this this period let your faith be alive my god in him will i what trust let your faith be alive verse 3 Surely he shall deliver thee from the snare of the faller and from the noisome pestilence from coronavirus. Verse 4. He shall cover thee with his feather. I thought you said amen to that. Amen. And under his wings 
shall thy trust is truth shall be thy shield and buckler the truth is the word you must keep speaking it from your mouth am i talking to a church here you must keep speaking it from where your mouth he said is truth shall be thy buckler that is thy buckler thy buckler thy shield not what you are hearing in the news see the news doesn't tell you anything good the news will give you fear but the word will give you faith that is before you go out every morning take word therapy at least two scriptures and this is our scripture none of the evil will come near us i thought you say amen that is you the second thing is that you declare these things you read these things this is the best version it's not sanitizer a spirit nothing physical can handle spiritual things you fight spiritual battles with spiritual weapons um, do you understand what i'm talking about here there's a spirit behind it and that spirit was dead with two thousand years ago jesus said it is finished that is coronavirus died before it surfaced what will deliver people this season is knowledge he said they that know their god shall be what strong and they shall do exploit shall be strong that is read the scriptures lastly the book of revelation said we overcame the devil by the what the blood of the lamb and by the word of what fact that is throughout this period begin to bleed the blood the blood of jesus i dip all my children in the blood i dip everyone in the blood see plead the blood for people and plead it for yourself never be selfish this period because what you make happen for others god will make happen for you Am I talking to someone here that is this season plead the blood plead the blood I plead the blood of Jesus over my life I drink the blood you are on the bike you are drinking the blood spiritual things are practice you drink the blood the blood flushes my system do you understand what I'm talking about here Ebola came and he go we left that's why the Bible says he came to pass he came and it pass it will come to pass yeah. do you understand what i'm talking about here bleed the blood lastly don't stay away from church he said they go from strength to strength every one of them that appear before god in where in zion that is your strength is in church anyone that came here weak your strength is restored every time you come to church something happens to you that's why you say you go for service the church has the final solution not this church the church you can't quarantine spirit i want you to understand you challenge spirit by the blood of jesus he has triumphed over satan make an open show of him the victory was established two thousand years ago we need to declare our victory when you are going you decree victory no plague shall come near our dwelling speak health let the weak say i am worth don't speak coronavirus don't join them and speak like them so i don't know everybody just dying you know who no nurse you know somebody not sneeze hope you never carry corona come here no corona come near your dwelling place am i talking to somebody rise up on your faith